have seen everything from rare items to fake diamonds being brought into the gold and silver pawn shop. While most sellers have authentic items, some have got their hands on some stolen goods. And what do they decide to do? Of course, go to the pawn shop and sell it. Well, today, we're going to take a look at the time when thieves tried to sell on Pawn Stars. Number 10. Fake Rolex Watches Corey grew up at the pawn shop, and he had a lot to learn from his dad and grandfather. Since this is a family business, Corey eventually started working at the pawn shop, but he wasn't experienced. As soon as he began working there, he managed to be scammed by thieves a few times. But the one that cost him the most was when he purchased a fake Rolex watch. Over the course of a week, Corey purchased multiple Rolex watches, thinking they were original. Happy with his decision, he spent $4,000 on the watches. Little did he know that all of these watches were fake. The thieves clearly spotted that Corey was inexperienced and decided to target him and get his money. After it was revealed that each watch was fake, Corey had already spent the money. Number 9. Gold Coins When Jennifer Beckman brought a bunch of gold coins into the shop, she expected a great deal from the Harrisons. She took the coins throughout three visits, and in return, she received $12,375. This deal wasn't out of the ordinary, as people oftentimes sell coins in the pawn shop. But what made this situation interesting is that it was later uncovered that each one of the coins had been stolen. David Walters, Beckman's uncle, reported that it was his collection and that she stole it from him. Inside the entire collection, there were some rare and unique coins that made the collection worth $50,000. However, after Walters reported the stolen coins, the pawn shop had already melted all of them so that they could resell them. There was no going back from this. Number 8. Napoleon Signed Document Forged signatures are quite hard to figure out if they're done just right, and the Pawn Stars have had their fair share of forged documents to be able to tell the difference. However, sometimes these things look so authentic that they are easily mistaken for the real thing. This happened to Corey when a man walked in trying to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, he tried to sell a document signed by Napoleon himself. He explained that he got it off the internet, and he believes it is the real deal. The man wanted $10,000 for it, but Corey eventually got him to sell it for $2,000. Although the document seemed legit and had a certificate of authenticity, Rick got Corey to see an expert to confirm if it was real or not. To Corey's surprise, the document was a replica and wasn't worth a whole lot. Number 7. Comic Books in season 15, we saw a woman bring seven huge boxes filled with comic books that she had inherited. Chumley was the one she presented them to, and he immediately saw the potential that comic books have, so he quickly scanned a few of them and saw some pretty interesting stuff. For the total of the seven boxes, the woman requested $2,000, but Chumley wasn't about to budget for it since there were around 300 comic books in each box. Without even calling in an expert, he made a deal to purchase them for $500 and hoped he got some rare finds. After the transaction was made, Rick and Chumley sat down as an expert looked through them and figured out what they were worth. The expert found around 18 that were worth $200 altogether, while the rest he priced with a price tag of 5 cents each. Number 6. Stolen Coin in Season 7, a man walked into the pawn shop looking to sell a rare biblical coin that was around 2,000 years old. Rick was interested in it and quickly decided to examine the coin. Although the shekel of Tyra was a very common coin, Rick pointed out that there aren't many left out there. The one issue that Rick saw was that the coin was clean, which lost its value. So, due to that, a deal was made for $1,600. The tricky part was that after the coin was purchased, their head of security revealed that the shekel they had purchased was stolen, not by the guy who brought it into the store, but by a previous owner. Number 5. Gibson Mandolin Once again, we have Chumley purchasing an item that isn't what it seems to be. In Season 4, a customer presented a Gibson Mandolin to Chumley, hoping it would sell for a good amount of money. Chum saw the perfect condition of the mandolin and the sticker inside proved to him that it was an authentic Gibson mandolin, so he made a deal for $1,500. After the deal was made, 
Chum went to an expert to get it inspected. The expert took a quick look at it and could immediately tell Chum that the mandolin was fake. The sticker, the decal, and the finish of the mandolin were just a few of the things that didn't make sense and could prove it was a fake. Number 4. Joe Jackson's Signature When Rick saw a book signed by shoeless Joe Jackson, he knew he had hit the jackpot. The man also presented a certificate of authenticity, and knowing how rare and valuable Jackson's signature was, Rick took a gamble and purchased the book for $13,000. After purchasing it, he went to an expert to prove that it was the real deal. Well, she made the comparison to the only signature out there that all authenticators agreed on. And when she compared it to the one Rick bought, it simply wasn't a match. After sending it to other experts, it was confirmed that it was a fake signature. Number 3. Marilyn Monroe Signature and Poem Marilyn Monroe's signature still holds a huge value, and it is priced pretty high. So when a customer walked in with a picture allegedly signed by Monroe alongside a poem she had written, you can bet that everyone got interested. However, these types of things need to be proven that they are authentic. Corey got curious about how he managed to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, he wanted to know how he got his hands on the idol. And afterward, he decided to call in an expert to see if it was the real deal. The expert quickly compared the signature and the point and decided that they weren't written by Monroe. Number 2. Stolen Submarine it is rare to see a submarine being sold on Palm Stars, but one woman managed to do so. When this woman showed Rick and Chum the one-man submarine, Rick saw a huge potential. Even though the submarine was not in the best shape, he thought he may save it and sell it for much more. He ultimately bought it for $3,000, and after an expert inspected it, it was proved that it was worth $10,000. Well, after this episode aired, a man from California reported that the submarine was his and that it was stolen a few years ago. After this was confirmed, Rick had to part ways with the submarine and return it to the rightful owner. Number 1. Diamond Earrings Each item that gets sold at the pawn shop is immediately entered into a database, which the police regularly check to see if any stolen items have been pawned. Such a thing happened when a man walked into the shop trying to sell diamond earrings. Rick asked questions about them, but the man had all the right answers and even had a receipt. Due to that, Rick settled to purchase them for $40,000. After a few days later, the police showed up and said that the earrings were stolen and had to be returned to the owner. The seller was quickly arrested, but the money that Rick spent on the diamond earrings was long gone. See you in the next video.